what is up you guys pete carlo here uh sorry there is no camera today if you're new to this channel normally you get to see my beautiful face but uh currently right now we're doing a bunch of things in the office so i don't have the camera on because it kind of looks like a bomb blew up um but i'm shooting from the hip today because um i was talking to a couple of students and friends this morning um and i came up with this video idea very quickly i got on sketchpad just drew this terrible little drawing up uh but a lot of people ask me in my entire life, and we're, we're going to go all over all this, how come things, quote, come easy to me? Um, and I, I, I want to talk about that, and I don't want to sound conceited, but for a very, very long time, um, I've never really had problems with women. I've never really had problems with opportunity. I've never really had problems uh, with a lot of things. It seems like, you know, you guys all probably know one person in your life that things just work out for them right? Things they do, they just, they, things just seem that no matter how it goes, it works out for them. And it seems like money just comes easy to them. And a lot of that is, you know, your, how you perceive things, your perception. I'm a very, very optimistic person. So even when something terrible happens to me, I am able to look at it in an optimistic uh, point of view. For instance, when my mother died, um, like three, four years ago, I, that really changed my life and really helped to shape who I am today. And while that was a terrible and traumatic experience, of course, I have been able to look at that and say that I needed that to happen in order to become who I am. So, you know, if you are very optimistic, that is a huge thing that a lot of successful, a lot of people who become successful, they're optimistic. So that's something that you have to work on. Uh, but there is one thing that I want to talk about in this video that I think will really help and it's on potential learning you know how to what, what potential is why i think a lot of people could you know could do a lot more things do a lot better in their life and so this is something that really helped me get to i feel like the next level mentally four or five years ago but also therefore helped me get to the next level financially because it all starts mentally it all starts up up in your brain it starts with your psychology and then that exudes into everything else in your life um so we're gonna look at two people here this is a terrible little drawing but i'm not the best at drawing but we're gonna look at two people so the first is going to be billy he is the one here on the left and we're gonna give a little background context on who billy is where billy came from so billy was born in a low income uh area where the average household income was thirty five thousand dollars per year so right now the average household income is about sixty thousand dollars per year so he definitely lived in a very poor area of the country his parents one is unemployed while the other one works at a local gas station probably like a manager or something uh, his parents know nothing about saving money they were never taught about saving money they were never taught about investing money they were never even taught how money works and we all know at this point that money is a game and a game that you have to be taught how to really take advantage of um he did not go uh, grow up in a great school district uh, and actually developed a reading uh, issue, maybe a stutter, something along the lines like that. Because if you live in a lower house or a lower income area of the country, usually the schooling system is not the best. And maybe even in this predicament with Billy, uh, maybe he was born with a disability. Maybe he was born with one leg, no hands, blind, whatever it is. There are a lot of people, unfortunately, out there um, who grow up this way, uh, you know, like Billy has or were born with you know, um, unfortunately some birth defects and stuff like that. Um, which to share with you, I, I was actually born with a, with a birth defect. Um, uh, basically my pituitary gland only works 40%. So I, I secrete literally like 40% of the hormones that I should be, which d drastically affected my life uh, growing up and as an adult. So whatever it is, there are a lot of people out there. Then we have Jeff. So Jeff was born in a high income suburb of a major city in the United States. And the average household income for Jeff is $275,000. His parents, his father is an executive vice president at one of the biggest investment companies in the city. And his mother is a stay at home mom who is actually there to take care of him as a child to become an active role in Jeff's life. He grew up in the best school district within his state and had access to the highest level of teaching after school activities and etc. Jeff was given everything that he asked for as a child and his family backed him in anything that he did. However, he was lazy. Now, you guys have probably seen this everywhere. You've seen, you know, the example of Billy rising above it all um, and, you know, maybe 
you know, breaking through the barriers of life and becoming successful. You know, somebody like, I can think off the top of my head, like a Robert Downey Jr., somebody who was in prison, was a drug addict, you know, pushed through, did all those things, yada, yada. Somebody like myself, I'm definitely not on Robert Downey Jr.'s level, but if you guys know a little bit about me, um, I went to jail three times. The longest time I was in there was for six months. Uh, I was a convicted felon for um, 14 grams of marijuana, whether it's 14 grams, 20 grams, 100 grams, whatever it is, I'm still a convicted felon. Um, I dealt with addiction for many, many years, was a terrible person. Um, and right now I, I run a company that's going to do over $300,000 this year um, in sales and, and and probably net revenue around $250,000. So we've seen these examples all the time. I don't say that to be like, look at what I've done, but anybody can do it, right? Now, when it comes to potential, this is one of the most important things. And I put this up here and it says, you are your biggest competition. Strive only to beat your own limitations and break through your own potential. So I put monetarily like little bars up here. So let's just, and money is not what you should be tracking things, right? Like, unfortunately, money doesn't matter, but it's the only thing that we track. So let's say that, you know, Billy with his, you know, potential reading disability, maybe he has a stutter who was born in a low-income area, maybe his maximum potential is he could make $75,000 a year. And let's say that he does. Let's say that he really works with a, a speech pathologist to get rid of his stutter, to uh, really, you know, uh, works with a tutor to learn how to read really, really well um, and, you know, become very fluent in reading and writing. Let's say that if he does have a disability, he learns to work around it. Let's say, like, he, he doesn't have a hand, but he still learns uh, with, you know, a a physical therapist and strives daily to use that that um, gimp hand to just try to live as as normal if not potentially better normal as a life that he possibly has he moves out of his um, city he goes to a better city he finds better friends um, he, he surrounds himself in a better environment since we know that environment is extremely important when it comes to uh, your life and to who you are and let's say that he lives life and his life to his fullest potential. And so at this point now, maybe he runs a small local business making about $75,000 a year and he maxes his potential. Like he reaches his ceiling. His ceiling is not as high as Jeff's, but he maxes that out. And if you're a, if you're a nerd, think about it. Like, uh, if you know Naruto, like think about Rock Lee, like, uh, it's going to be really weird if you guys don't know what Rock Lee is, but, uh, or, or what Naruto is, but in the world Naruto, they're basically ninjas. They have powers and all that stuff. Rock Lee never had powers. He he never had, um, it's called ninjutsu, but he never had ninjutsu. He could never do all these other things that other people could do. Uh, but he worked so hard at just being a good hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter that he hit, even though his, his ceiling was not that high, he hit that with every piece he had. He had to work very hard, but he reached his highest potential of his ceiling. Then there are people like Jeff, where, you know, maybe we're not even going to talk really about money, but I did put money here because it's just a, a good example. Let's say that, like, he could pretty easily make three hundred dollars to $600,000 a year, but he's lazy. And like I said before, if you've watched Naruto, think of somebody like Neji. Uh, Neji was a very, very strong ninja, probably could have been one of the strongest, um, but he didn't really... Oh, no, let's say Shikamaru. Shikamaru is a good example. Shikamaru is one of those people that he could have been so much better than he was, but he just didn't put in the time, effort, energy in order to get there. Instead of, so instead of Jeff maxing out his potential the same way that Billy did, he actually only gets to half of what his true potential could possibly be. And now, talking about potential when we're talking about like human beings, money is not what's important. Even though I did put it here, it's not important. It's maxing out your potential. That is the most important thing. You know, I, when I when I meet somebody, when I meet a friend or a colleague or a business partner or, or a woman, I, I always look at myself um, and say, you know, not necessarily like what can they add to my life or how much money do they make or how much are they? I've never thought about that. I always thought like, are they maxing out their potential? So, you know, three, four, five years ago, even though I didn't have the money that I have now, I didn't have the following that I have now, I didn't have the business that I had now, I was still striving each and every single day to push my potential to the absolute limit. Because if you would have met me 15 years ago, you would have been like, dude, what? Like, you know, like you, you come from 
divorced family, never made over 40 grand a year from not the best area, but not the worst area. I started smoking cigarettes at 11. I started drinking at 11. I lost my virginity at 11. I was a crazy freaking wild kid. Like I said before, like arrested multiple times, like dropped out of college three times, dropped out of high school twice, got my GD. Like you would not think that I'd be where I am right now. And you could say that my potential was lower, but I have been personally trying to max out my potential each and every single day that I wake up so that when I get to the finish line in life, that when I get to my deathbed, I can sit back and say, like, I didn't hold anything back. Like, I I tried everything that I possibly could and I pushed everything out. And that's the most important thing. And that's like, that's what I wrote up here. Like, your limitations are only set by your life and by you and you might even be able to push through your potential what you thought was your potential and continuing to move that bar further and further and further I would always rather be this person the Billy the one who might not you know come from the best area the dog that's what it is the dog the, the underdog at all times I would rather be that person and push every single day and bust my ass every single day than to be this guy right than to be the guy who has everything but just doesn't push to max out his potential and there are probably a lot of people that you guys know you know if you're in sports think of a lot of players that could have really 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 if they just if they just got a like if they just um were to stick with it or just had that tenacity that that underdog had that they could be much better of a player that they could have been or the friend that you know that could really be doing so many better things with their life but they're just not and so bringing this full circle obviously like I'm saying push for push for greatness push through your highest potential live every day like it's your last but the biggest thing that I want to get through this is the abundance thing which is the title of this you know how to make money and 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 just make everything in your life easy or come to you easily i put here once you strive for excellence to the best of your ability which that's all important the best of your ability everything will come your way money women opportunity etc because you are living in an abundance mindset when you have an abundance mindset which means that you have you have no worries that there's scarcity in your life. You live in an abundance mindset. Things tend to just fall in your lap. When you live in a scarcity mindset, things stay away. Women won't come near you because you act like, oh, this is the only woman I can ever get. And I'm never going to get another one. I got to hang on to her. That repels women. Money, when money comes into your hands or falls into your hands and you don't live in an abundance mindset, and you're like, I need to hang on to this. I need to scrounge for this. I need to not invest it, not risk it. And I need to just hold on to it. Money will not come your way again. When you were that way with opportunity, it will not come your way again. Those things, everything in life attracts to a, you know, an, an abundance mentality. An abundance mentality only happens by pushing your personal limits and living to your absolute highest potential each and every single day. Guys, I hope this video helped. Hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. Um, you know, if you guys have any video ideas, please let me know. I know that normally I talk about finances, but finances all start with something more important right I, I tell a lot of people a lot of friends family students you know if i gave you the money that you're asking for would you even know what to do with it would you even know how to invest with it would you even have the discipline to not blow it would you even have the result like most of the time no if i just gave you 100 grand you wouldn't know how to turn it into 200 grand 300 grand 400 grand and a lot of times it's not just the skills of investing it's the mentality that you have to have behind it right that's the most important thing Guys, I hope this video helped. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.